Good morning, and joining us on the phone to talk about heart health today, Ellie Myers, cardiac rehab nurse at Rochelle Community Hospital. Everybody has a heart, obviously, but maybe it's not something you think of as a high priority. What is sort of a warning sign that maybe you could have something going on with your heart and you need to get it checked out? Sure. Um, We all like to write off things that we feel or things that could be a little different until they're fairly persistent. Um, So things you could be looking for is your body telling you that it is not doing so well. Things like feeling repeated fluttering or odd sensations of the chest, Um, sometimes rapid weight gain. Um, We're talking pounds within a week. That would not be normal for you. Um, other things, pain, we would always want you to see a physician for any pain of the chest or any odd sensation. Um, women, we want them to be paying attention to other odd sensations like jaw pain or some GI distress. Women do not have the same symptoms as men. And having experienced chronic pain as we age, women tend to write off when they are not feeling well. So anytime you're feeling a persistent change is when you should be talking to your doctor about what is going on, Um, just those yearly follow-ups and how important it is to tell them what's your normal, how are you feeling in your everyday life. You work in cardio rehab. What exactly is cardio rehab? Is it uh, just more than getting on a treadmill and not passing out? (laughs) Yes. Um, So we offer cardiopulmonary rehab services here at Rochelle Hospital. Um, That is technically two entities. We can do a rehabilitative session for your heart or for your lungs based on certain conditions that your doctor might have diagnosed you with. Um, So after somebody has an event like a heart attack, an open heart surgery, any kind of intervention, or maybe they've been diagnosed with heart failure and they need some help with both lifestyle modification, you know, those dietary changes, the exercise basics, as well as help just getting into the exercise routine. So we do all of that here. We do a 36-session one-on-one exercise regimen with the cardiac patients to help them really fall into step with a healthier lifestyle, more than just getting on a treadmill and seeing how it goes. Speaking of healthier lifestyle, if someone wants to avoid ever seeing you... (laughs) <laughs> which is always always what cracks me I up when it comes to healthcare them. things. It's like, you know what? There's all sorts of things we want you to do to keep from seeing us. And that's the truth when it comes to heart health. What are some of the things that people can do in their everyday lives to avoid having heart issues? Um, a big thing here in the Rochelle area, being in the Midwest where we have such vastly different seasons is to just try to stay active in whatever form you can when the weather is not complying. We all love to be out in our yards and doing our gardening, but in those winter months or those rainy days, are you getting up and walking around the house? Are you doing any kind of exercise routine? By trying to add about 30 minutes of cardiac exercise roughly three times a week, that is the same as adding something like a a diabetic blood sugar medication to your your medication list. It's a powerful tool that not a lot of people are uh, utilizing. Ellie Myers, cardiac rehab nurse at Rochelle Community Hospital. Thank you so much. Thank you.